All right, let's get started creating your first automated file transfer within Diplomat MFT. After installation and initial configuration of the service account, we can simply log in. At first login, it prompts you for a new password. I've already done that. So here I am logging in. I have a blank Diplomat MFT canvas here. On the left-hand side is a tree navigation of all objects configured by the Diplomat MFT server. We're creating a workflow for pulling files from a fictitious remote SFTP server. Imagine this is a trading partner that generates reports in PDF format for you, and it's your job to download those on a daily basis. To automate this, you will choose an inbound transaction. We're going to right click, create inbound transaction, and call it something we can remember, right? Report PDF pull. You can also use the transaction menu to create inbound and outbound transactions. Let's look for all startup PDF files on this remote server. The file information allows you to configure the set of files that need to match the criteria you're looking for. I want all PDF files and I am going to say uppercase or lowercase. So I'll uncheck match case and close. Destination file name we don't want to rename them, so I'm going to leave it blank. And we're not interested in things like modified date on source or sequence numbers or modified dates in the file. I'm sorry, dates in the file name. So we'll leave the rest of this blank. The only other one I'm interested in down here is post transfer action. After a file is successfully downloaded from my trading partner, I'm going to delete it from that remote SFTP server source because I don't need it anymore. And in fact, by deleting it, I won't download it again next time this executes. Once I've specified the files I'm interested in, now I say, where do they come from under source partner profile? Because it's an SFTP server, I choose SFTP from our list of transports. And then I fill out the details of that FTP server according to what that trading partner gave me to access the server. Uh, which directory are we interested in? This again comes from your trading partner. If you leave it blank, it's just whatever folder you land in when you log in. And last, I want to make sure the files are ready. So I'm going to choose a file ready condition saying that the files must have been idle for at least 30 seconds, meaning their modified date on that source SFTP server must be at least 30 seconds old. This helps me ensure that the files are not still being written to on that server side. Okay, next we're gonna say, where do these files go? In my fictitious scenario, I am going to move them to a UNC path called Covariant Win 10 Diplomat Data. In both of these cases, I can use the test button to ensure that everything is working. Notice here I had a typo. So the test button saves me some headache down the road by correcting my typos before I try to execute this job. Working folder tree, SFTP server, working connection, and it lists the contents of the directory I'm interested in. Sure enough, there are PDF files. All right, I'm going to save as I go. We have specified which files I'm interested in, where they come from, where they go, and for a simple transaction, the last step is simply scheduling it. By default, do not run as checked for any newly created or copied transaction because you don't want it executing underneath you as you're editing. We're almost ready, so I'm gonna uncheck, do not run, and I'm gonna set the schedule. Again, I wanna pull these reports down from my partner at some period, right? Every five minutes, every one hour. In our case, it's a daily workflow. So I'm gonna run every one day, starting today, and we'll call it midnight. So AM 1200. So every night at midnight, I will attempt to download these files. On the right, you can even exclude certain days. I don't want you to run on Saturday and Sundays, for example, or create your own custom calendar. And last but not least, you do have the opportunity to create notifications, either email, Slack, or Teams when jobs or successful failure or some combination. In our case, I'm just interested in getting the job done, so I'm largely done. I'll click Save. Now, I don't have to wait for midnight for this to execute. I can click run now, and this is an interactive way to run the job from this web interface. Also right click run now. When I click run now, it, it directs the server 
to execute these operations and it gives me feedback on what's going on. So it's found a bunch of PDF files. It's attempting to download. It tells me that it found seven at source. It's downloaded four to destination. But notice here, it's following my overwrite rules, which specify don't overwrite the UNC path version if it already exists. These files had already existed, so it skipped those. These files were new, so it downloaded those. And notice we even keep an archive copy of all files flowing through this system so that you can retain those for your records in the future. This notification information that you see here is also what is included in the email notifications if you were to enable that. Okay, so there you are. We've established our first transaction for automating file transfers from one location to another in Diplomat MFT.